This morning, a deepening diplomatic row over the coronavirus. The Trump administration warning of a backlash inside China against the Communist Party for punishing doctors who speak out. The Deputy National Security Advisor, Matt Pottinger, declaring in Mandarin when small acts of bravery are stamped out by governments, big acts of bravery follow. While Chinese state television branding the U.S. Secretary of State insane and evasive, a Chinese Communist Party newspaper calling him a liar for these comments. I can tell you that there is a significant amount of evidence that this came from that laboratory in Wuhan. But in an interview published overnight, Dr. Anthony Fauci says he does not believe the virus was made in a Chinese lab, not directly weighing in on the theory it may have escaped from the lab, saying the scientific evidence is very, very strongly leaning towards this could not have been artificially or deliberately manipulated. While Australia's Prime Minister asserting that the virus likely emerged from a Wuhan wet market. What's really important is that we have a proper review, an independent review. And the World Health Organization weighing in too, saying it has not received any evidence of the Trump administration's allegation that there may have been a leak from a lab. We have not received any data or specific evidence from the US government relating to the purported origin of the virus. So from our perspective, this remains speculative. Around the world, Chinese officials have been waging an aggressive pushback against allegations China concealed the coronavirus. The Chinese ambassador to the UK posting comments accusing the US of spreading propaganda. National leaders of the United States you know, start this uh, campaign of disinformation. But one German lawmaker tells NBC News it's China that has been using coronavirus aid shipments for self-promotion and more. They try to erase any kind of um, um, critical view of that, what's going on uh, inside China by giving masks for free. And this morning, a new warning to the Chinese Communist Party that anti-China sentiment is at its highest around the world since the Tiananmen Square crackdown. That's part of a report that Reuters says it was briefed on. That report has not been reviewed by Reuters or by NBC News, but it is said, Hoda, to warn that the anti-China sentiment could lead to even a military confrontation. Hoda? Oh, OK. All right, Keir Simmons, thanks so much.